Hello everyone, it is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today we are going to make sweet potato casserole. It has been a while since I have made any sweet potato casserole. This is not the one I've made before, but it has good reviews, so let's hope it's good. All the ingredients tell me it's going to be good, so we'll see. What you're going to need for this is three pounds sweet potatoes peeled and cut into cubes. Well, I'll measure this out, but I think at the store I had about two and a half pounds here, so of course they sold them this way. So with my leftovers, because I will probably have about three of these potatoes left over, I am going to make sweet potato fries. Have you guys had sweet potato fries? They're fabulous. They're great. I love them. And you're also going to need one half cup brown sugar packed one third cup of softened butter. One third cup, I think it's about five tablespoons. Let's see. Yes, five tablespoons is one third cup. Mine is really soft. It's been sitting out for numerous hours. Uh, one half teaspoon vanilla extract, three quarter cups pecans, chopped and divided. So we're gonna use them a few different ways. One quarter teaspoon cinnamon or as much as you want to taste. Salt and pepper to taste. I'm not going to use salt and pepper on these because when I have something sweet, I normally don't like to put pepper. You know, I just don't. Uh, two cups of miniature marshmallows, and I have the generic brand. They'll do just as well. It's Giant Eagle brand. So what you're gonna wanna do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees and grease a nine by 13 pan. I can't. I just can't. I forgot that was open. And you know what? I just dropped a lot of pecans on the floor and they are expensive. Pecans are expensive. I'm gonna have to watch myself. It might not be that many I dropped. Handy dandy pat of butter. I just used this in the last recipe. If you guys watched the recipe that aired three days ago because I've recorded them all in the same day. Go ahead and put your pot of water on the stove and bring it to a boil while you're peeling your potatoes. That way it doesn't take as long. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to uh, cut these into cubes. Hopefully my water will be ready by then. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have to say, Doug, please, please extend the house out. Build me a bigger kitchen. I just don't have enough counter space, especially right here at this island. And he has offered to put me in a bigger island, and he will eventually, but he is such a busy, busy man, so it'll just have to wait. All right, here are all my chunks. I didn't put them into perfect cubes. They're just in chunks, so they don't take so long to cook. My water is boiling. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's see. We're going to simmer for 15 minutes or until fork tender. So cook those for about 15 minutes and I'll be back and we'll test them, drain them. It says in large bowl or pot that the potatoes were cooked in. This makes more sense to me so I don't have to dirty up another bowl. Mash the sweet potatoes with brown sugar, butter, cinnamon, vanilla, and salt and pepper if you're going to put salt and pepper in. So let me see. So I'm going to put in my half cup of packed brown sugar. I'm going to break that up a little bit. My one third cup of softened butter. My cinnamon, which is a quarter of a teaspoon. And then if you're going to put a little salt and pepper to taste, which I'm not, so we'll mash that together. I have a cheap little masher from Amazon. I'm gonna make sure I get that all mixed around too while I'm mashing. I don't want part of it to have more butter than another or more sugar. Okay, then it says fold in half the pecans and then we're gonna spread into the prepared greased nine by 13 pan. So I'm gonna spread in about half the pecans going to kind of stir those around. Then we'll go ahead and pour it into the pan. Let's 
spread it around. It does still have chunks in it, and that's fine. Then sprinkle with marshmallows and remaining pecans. So our two cups of mini marshmallows. One little marshmallow left. Where shall it go? Right there. Okay. So let us sprinkle the remaining pecans. It says bake for 25 minutes or until marshmallows are golden brown and the potatoes are heated through. So off it goes. 375 degrees. Just a closer walk with me. Da, 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 da. Okay, these are about done. Yes, golden brown marshmallows. Oh, that smells good. That really smells good. I might let it cool down because that is going to be really hot. Yeah, that's really good. Really good. Now, it says here that there are, let me find the recipe, that there are 16 servings and each serving has about 188 calories. So what I just had here probably had about 150. Not bad if you do it in moderation. It's hard to believe those are potatoes. Thanks for joining me here once again on Dee's Delights and I hope you have a fabulous week everyone. Talk to you real soon.